If you're going to invest thousands of dollars in a dental implant, don't you want it to be precise, well thought out, have limited pain afterwards, and the highest chance of success? I would too. In this video, I'm going to show you how to maximize the chances of success with your dental implant procedure. Hey guys, Dr. Joseph Hulick here. I'm a member of the American Academy of Implant Dentistry, and let's dive right in. So first, a quick 15 second review of what a dental implant is. So keep in mind, a dental implant is really just typically that titanium post or screw that we place into your bone. Now, the finished product will eventually have the titanium post or screw, a connector piece on top of that, and then a tooth that sits on top of the connector piece. But the day that we place the dental implant, remember, most often there will not be a tooth on the implant. We need to let it heal first. So the two different approaches and ways that we place dental implants are first free-handed, which basically means we look at the site, we look at your x-ray and we go in there, get you numb and then kind of start drilling. We kind of take a look. Yes. Do we like our angle? We're going to be taking x-ray and a lot of implants are still placed like this to this day. Um, and it's common. Now, the other way we place them is a guided surgery. So where we fabricate a surgical guide where everything is pretty much decided before you even come in. So what is the surgical guide and why is it even important? So the surgical guide is essentially a little removable stent or mouthpiece that we sit on your teeth the day of the surgery that tells us exactly where we need to go like in this example here. So why are they important? The surgical guides help ensure precision and success with the procedure. So we know exactly where the implant is going to go. We know exactly how the tooth is going to sit on the implant. All of this is decided before you're even numb and you even come in for the procedure. So it minimizes errors, reduces pain afterwards, and really just makes the procedure go overall that much more smoothly. It's like having the blueprint before you start building a house. The process of making the surgical guide is, is very simple. Pretty much all the implants we place at our practice are guided implants. I'm going to show you a real life case here that we've done. Once we've reviewed, of course, your health history, we've taken a 3D x-ray. Uh, we've made sure that you are in fact a good candidate, looked at the teeth, looked at everything in the mouth. Then it's time to basically plan the surgery. And so what we do is we start to create these little reports. And what we do is we play, we determine the ideal position for the implant itself based off of the bone quality, the bone width, height, the angle, where we're going to place it, and then how the tooth will sit on top of the implant, which is incredibly important because, you know, if the, if the implant is at a tricky angle, then you have to make sure that the tooth is going to look appropriate or be able to actually chew or function that there's there's enough space for the tooth. And so knowing how the tooth will sit on the implant is, is really important in addition to where we're actually going to place the implant. Um, and then there's other details that we have to keep in mind as far as like if grafting is going to be necessary. The main takeaway here, guys, is all these decisions are made before your appointment, which is huge. So when you come in for the procedure, the day of the surgery, we already know exactly where we are going to be placing the dental implant. This means that the surgery itself is much more faster and efficient. And here's a quick little video of a case that we actually did. The case went very smooth and it was really quick. And I say that not to, not because I'm proud of how fast it goes, but just because overall, I think it's a much better experience for the patient. And I can tell you from doing it both ways, doing a lot of freehanded ones and a lot of guided, which is pretty much all we do now, that guided makes things much easier for everybody, the doctor and the patient included. It still is a surgical procedure though. So you have to keep in mind and go into it with the right expectations. So there might be some discomfort, there might be some pain afterwards and implants are not fail proof. But in my experience, the feedback from patients has been very very positive with regards to the guided surgeries. The main downside with the surgical guide is really just the cost. So the cost really could range anywhere between $300 and $600 and on up, depending on uh, how many different implants we're placing or how complicated the surgery is. And of course, where you might live, that could affect that too. But you know, given the fact that dental implants are a significant investment, my opinion is that this extra cost is worth it for the added kind of precision, reducing the chance of risks uh, and just the overall better outcomes. A question I get a lot from patients are, is it even worth that are dental implants even effective, especially with some of the horror stories that they hear from friends or family? You know, in my opinion is yes. So dental implants are one of the most successful, predictable things that we do to replace missing teeth. Uh, there are some studies that show their average 15 year survival rate can be like in the 90, high 90 percent. But keep in mind, they are not bulletproof. They can't have problems. Um, and so I tell patients, you know, an th important thing to keep in mind, especially depending on what they've heard or Googled or researched, is that patient selection and site selection is critically important. And so of course we have to make sure that the patient overall is their health, can they tolerate the procedure? We wanna make sure that the site is a great site for the implant. What does the bone quality look like? What is the bone width, the bone height? How easy is it gonna to be to access? In addition to how well the implant is placed. And then of course, how well it's taken care of afterwards. That involves partly the bite force that is on the implant, making sure that that is correct. And then of course 
to how well the patient takes care of it. So by carefully considering all these different factors that we just reviewed and using the surgical guide, I think that is kind of the ultimate combination to help ensure success and the best possible outcomes for you when deciding to move forward with the dental implant procedures. Um, in conclusion, if you are considering dental implants, I hope you got some value out of that video. Make sure to ask your provider about using a surgical guide to help maximize the chances of success and just the overall satisfaction with the procedure and your investment. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and consider subscribing to the channel.